Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with my review of round number three in the Guinness Six Nations fantasy rugby game. I've had my best week so far to date so I'm quite happy with that and in today's video I'm going to run through my team, where I scored my points and of course give you guys shout outs by running through the Bears Gamer Championship rankings and seeing where we are all on that leaderboard. So before we get into it, please do drop a like, leave a comment down below, let me know what your team scored, who are your best players, how are you getting on, let me know in those comments down below. And of course, if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button. So let's not mess around any longer. Let's get straight onto the Guinness Six Nations Fantasy Rugby website. And as you can see, this is my team and how they scored. We ended up with a points total of 724.6, which is my highest so far if I go through. I've got gradually better and better. We had 657.6 last week. Um, and then the week before, first week, we had 588. Um, so steady increases as I'm getting more used to the game. Um, as you guys know, I've not really been involved with the fantasy rugby properly before um, until this tournament. So I'm learning as well. But it's nice to see a steady increase as I'm getting better at the game. And yeah, let's talk through the team. So standout performer was Ollie Lawrence, who had an incredible game for England, obviously scoring a try. He picked up 75.2 points. And then my poorest performer was Xander Fagerson for Scotland with only 11.8. My big mistake of the week really was captaining Penal over Hugo Keenan. Really thought Ireland were going to comfortably beat Italy and I thought as Keenan is one of the main men for Ireland, he would then probably be brought off to make sure he's ready for the last two remaining rounds. Unfortunately, that game was a lot closer than a lot of people predicted, so he ended up staying on for the full game. Um, Pernau played against Scotland, obviously, and didn't perform as anticipated, not scoring any tries or anything like that. So that was a huge difference for me. If I managed to captain Keenan instead, I mean, you're looking at another 50-odd points, um, which could be the difference in rankings on the leaderboard. So that was a bit of a shame, unfortunately. Um, apart from that, in the front row, Jamie George and Fischetti performing okay in the 30s. Same with Flamon. Uh, James Ryan is a real stalwart of the fantasy world at the minute, consistently in the 40s, playing very, very well with 49.6. Kalen Doris with 40.6, another consistent one, as is Lewis Ludlam. Uh, the good thing about Ludlam is he seems to be playing the majority of the whole game. He hasn't been coming off. And that's given him a chance to earn some really good steady points. I went with Tipperick this week for Wales, um, which was an okay pick with 42.2. Um, didn't fancy their chances against England, but as a steady old head, I thought he would pick up some gain uh, meterage on and whatnot. And uh, he did with 40 something points. Antoine Dupont, I mean, you look at 44.8 and think, blimey, that's a bit quiet for him. Uh, but steadily, another good game. And then I brought Entomac in for Finn Russell. I mean, Finn Russell did score slightly higher than Entomac, but it's not too bad. Um, Entomac scored a try and it just allowed me to balance the stars around the team a bit better. Of course, we'll see what happens for round number four, what I'm thinking there. Uh, there we go. We've already spoke about Pernau and Keenan on the wings. Ollie Lawrence, a top performer. Tua Pilotu with a disappointing 26.4. Uh, my two Scottish picks, really not ideal, but not terrible. And then Ange Capuzzo in the fullback position at 36 points. Perhaps could have had a little bit more himself as well, but didn't quite happen. So that was the start in 15. And then we'll move on to the bench now. Uh, of course, Sheehan was my super sub coming on and earning 58.2 points. So that's not too bad. And then I also had Anthony Watson on the bench who scored a try. So yeah, that wasn't a bad decision either, really. Overall, definitely happy with that. Like I said, it's been my highest scoring week 
of the Six Nations Fantasy World so far was 2724.6. Moved me up the leaderboard, which we'll have a look at in a minute. And I'm just very happy with my steady progress. Um, gaining 100 odd points each week. Of course, it's too late to probably challenge any of the higher ups in the leaderboard. Um, but at least I'm showing you guys that I'm getting used to this game now. And hopefully my knowledge and advice is pointing some people in the right direction. Um, and I imagine it'll only get better as we move on with this fantasy stuff. Heading into the World Cup, of course. And uh, yeah, extremely happy with that. Let's move on now then to the leaderboards to see where we are. And we'll go straight down to the bottom. We have gained another member. So we are at 30. Um, so far, unfortunately, Stephen is bringing up the rear in 30th. We've got Bill, Island Yes, Santiago Romero, Billatron Prime, or Blab Low, Bay Pen. I mean, this is a laugh in itself trying to pronounce all these. Holes, Noel Galini Burdick, Paul, nice and easy one. Bears Gamer there at 19th, so up two places. I mean, a lot of you guys know what you're talking about, so it is a tricky league. Uh, Stain Zero, Marcus Corquera, Kiwi Rhinos, The Landlord. Kiwi Rhinos, unfortunately, down seven spots. That's a big jump down. Ben Jenks, up three. Jimbo, Philo Shard, up two. Moles, up four. Ellis Roderick, down five. Andrew M, down six. IOSD up three, no move for Ben Maloney. Huds is up two, no punt intended, down one. Naza up two to fourth. And then we have the big main three. We've got the Hog Stepper, who is up seven places to third. We've got Gar and we've got Traz. Uh, Traz building up an almost 200 point lead over Gar. Not much between these guys. I'm guessing Hogstepper has had a hell of a round because he's moved up seven spots and he has 902.4. Very well done. He's got Ramos with 87.6. Captain James Lowe, great decision there. Hugh Jones, Ollie Lawrence. Pernau is his disappointing one there, as is Hamish Watson, Porter. Um, but some really, really good picks there. Finn Russell, uh, James Ryan again. Yes, yeah, well done. The Hogstepper must be one of the highest scoring teams of the week. We'll go and have a little look at Gar now, who got 802.6. He did Captain Keenan, so well done him, making the correct decision. Lowe was a strong performer at 91.2. And yeah, everyone else contributing fairly well. Jack Willis is certainly one to look at, I think, in future future rounds. And then we're going to finish off with the team of Traz, who had 905. Malins, 46.2. Again, captaining Low. Who captained Low? Well done, you. You've done extremely well. Uh, Finn Russell again. A lot of the same core players in there Fikel who I had in the team last week dropped him and of course he goes and scores 71 this week um, so that's disappointing um, but yeah well rounded team he had Ramos on the bench as well as Van der Merv and Sheehan wow how has he managed to fit those 18 players together very well done to him team of Traz and he is our number one performer of the week and top of the Bears Gamer Championship. I'm currently in 19th, which is a small improvement, and hopefully I can get close to the top 10 maybe as we move through the final two rounds. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do drop a like if you had. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how your team got on. What points did you get? Who were your standout players? And what do you think of how I'm doing and improving each week? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, if you haven't already, then please do move that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I also do this fantasy content on YouTube Shorts and TikTok as well. And that's usually where it appears first. 
So don't forget to follow me on those socials to keep up to date with that. And yeah, really enjoying fantasy rugby at the minute and I hope you guys are too. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the virtual scrum. Yeah.